Welcome back to another review. I thought we'd have a look today at the Lenovo N700 wireless mouse. This was sent in via Gearbest for review. Just something a bit different to what I normally review and it looked quite interesting so I thought I'd have a look. Now we have the usual uh, switches left and right but what's different with this mouse is you have a touch control here um, that gives you the scroll wheel as such and you also have two buttons on that, the Windows logo and the front button as well. You can see the shape in the normal position get onto the ergonomics a bit later on. It does take a bit of getting used to this mouse if you use a traditional size mouse. You see there's a soft touch finish on the entire casing so I have to see how that holds up. It does provide a bit of extra grip it has to be said but uh, we'll see how it functions long term. Now on this switch at the base here you'll see there's um, one for the dongle that's included. The middle one is Bluetooth and if you need to pair the device just push the switch over to the left hand side and it enters the pairing mode. Just a quick look on this section. This houses the batteries. It takes two AAA cells. Flip that open and you can see the tabs on the inside there. I would have perhaps made them a little bit bigger. I haven't had any problems myself but I'm not sure how long they're going to hold up. I've read some reports that they might not be as strong as they could. Um, I haven't had issues myself but um, that's perhaps a design that could change. Now, receiver is just for the radio frequency only. The Bluetooth is in the mouse. So if you want to connect to something that doesn't have Bluetooth, such as a PC, desktop PC, then you're going to have to get an additional dongle for that. So it's just the RF. You can see the LED indicator. That's also a low battery. When the battery is low, it turns red. And you can see swivel around the design and now you've got a laser pointer and a presenter. So once you go into that mode, it no longer functions as a normal mouse. And that applies for whether or not you're using it as Bluetooth or with the radio frequency dongle. So interesting idea. It could certainly have some use for a few people. And then you swivel it around. As soon as you start to swivel, the laser can't be activated anymore and it acts as a normal mouse. So one to think about possibly if you do... Uh, business presentations or your uh, teacher or lecture or something like that that could be of interest to you. Now I'm just going to scan over the box just to show you some of the features. You'll see the authentic hologram for the Lenovo. This seems to have been um, packaged for when Windows 8 was out. It did win a design award for the specs here but they have updated it. It seems to be fine, running fine on anything from Windows 7 and up and of course different operating systems. And I'll just scan through the user manual just in case you want to have a look at that. It's dead simple release, just that switch to go between the different modes. Now the gesture control, that works pretty much as you'd expect on a PC, but it depends if you're using it on something like Android Box. You can always configure it for that. And this covers the LED indicator. I've been running this for three weeks with my own set of batteries. We do get... Um, energizer ones that are supplied. I use rechargeables myself and I haven't had to replace them. Just going to show you the Bluetooth connection now. That's on Android and I've connected to this device. You can see the flashing LED. Once you're connected that goes out. And you can use this basically as you would do a normal mouse. In other words you can use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down. You can see the pointer there. So you can just move that around. So there's potential with this for say Android box uh, perhaps a um, tablet, something like that. I'm just going to show you the scroll wheel in action. And it actually works better than I expected. I also used it with a few games. We didn't have any problems at all. It's quite responsive and you don't get that sort of annoying clicking sound. Or you can press the top button so that you're able to push the mouse up and down, to, which will also do the same thing. I'm just in the presenter mode to show you that quickly. This is going to be useful for PowerPoint. There's the laser that comes up once you press the uh, center button. So you can go forward and back, but basically that's it. There's no air mouse or anything like that. It's going to be purely of interest if you use PowerPoint, but if you are someone that does presentations, that could be quite useful to you. So really for me, I think it's quite a nice mouse. There's a few areas that I would change. And I think to look at this, you'd really be wanting to use the Bluetooth aspect as well as a normal uh, radio frequency transmitter that's supplied with it, because I think that's the idea. The presenter mode is a sort of added bonus. The DPI is quite high, so do adjust that, and it doesn't really like reflective services like glass. But in other areas, it's actually quite a nice little mouse, and comfort-wise, you get used to it after a while. 
Um, what I tend to find is I hold it a bit lighter um, than a normal mouse rather than wrapping your hand around and it's actually a decent enough little mouse. So thanks for watching the video and don't forget to have a look through some of my other video reviews and I'll catch up with you soon.